On Wednesday, the Washington Times had a remarkable story by Eli Lake detailing a remarkable 40-year secret agreement uh, between the United States and Israel that allowed the United States to shield Israel from international scrutiny of its nuclear weapons program. Uh, the U.S., in other words, uh, stopped the world from sending inspectors into Israel to prove what most of us suspect, that Israel has uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of nuclear weapons available. Things are about to change, though, on this subject, as the story pointed out. And it is an important uh, moment, I think, uh, in foreign policy. The Obama administration is not as pro-Israel as the Bush administration or the Clinton administration before it or the Bush administration before it. Uh, I think the Obama administration is seriously considering whether it should lift its veil of secrecy over Israel, protecting its nuclear weapons. Uh, it's perfectly possible that uh, the that President Obama may suggest to Israel's head of government that it's time for Israel to open itself to scrutiny and perhaps, uh, like the rest of the world, um, agree not to proliferate nuclear weapons and perhaps even to reduce its arsenal. This is creating all sorts of a stir in Israel, uh, but I think is a part of a larger issue that the Obama administration will not uh, decide uh, issues in the Middle East based solely on what's best for Israel. Things have changed in that regard and major changes are yet to come.